Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two concentric uh, circles. In other words, uh, this uh, big circle and this uh, small circle with a common center O put together as you can see in this given diagram. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, blue shaded ring as you can see over here. And the area of this uh, blue shaded ring has been given to us as a uh, pi centimeter square and moreover this code a b is tangent to this uh, small circle at this point uh, p and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, length uh, a b please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and before we proceed any further the blue shader region can be called annulus the ring or sometimes we call it the donut and since we are dealing with these two circles this big circle and the small circle i'm going to label the radius of this big circle as uppercase r and the radius of this smaller circle as lowercase r in other words, uh, this is going to be the radius uh, uppercase R and uh, this uh, is going to be the radius uh, lowercase R. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi times R square where uppercase R is the radius uh, of this uh, big circle. So therefore, uh, the big circle area is going to become uh, pi times uh, uppercase uh, r square. And likewise, we are going to calculate the area of this uh, smaller circle as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again. Area is always equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, smaller circle. So therefore, uh, this small circle area is going to become pi times uh, lowercase r square and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, blue shaded ring area is equal to the area of the big uh, circle minus uh, the area of the smaller circle as you can see in this equation and now we can see how this uh, blue shaded ring area has been given to us as uh, pi centimeter square the big circle area is pi times uppercase r square and the area of this uh, small circle is pi times lowercase uh, r square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So we're going to have pi equal to pi times uh, uppercase r square minus uh, pi times uh, lowercase r square. And now we can see all these terms are divisible by pi. So therefore, I'm going to divide each and every term uh, by pi across the board so therefore uh, pi divided by pi is going to give us one equals to this pi and pi is gone likewise this pi and pi is gone as well so we are ended up with the uh, uppercase r square uh, minus uh, lowercase r square and we can write uh, this uh, equation the other way around we can write uh, uppercase r square minus lowercase r square equals to one and I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And here's our next step. I'm going to connect uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point of tangent CP. As you can see in this uh, next step, and we can see that this uh, OP is our uh, radius uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder our this angle has got to be 90 degree angle since uh, this is our tangent line and this is our radius lowercase r. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. And here we can see this uh, AB is our chord. And this uh, radius lowercase r is uh, perpendicular to this chord. Then according to this uh, perpendicular bisector theorem, this segment uh, 
AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, BP. I'm going to label uh, this uh, AP segment uh, X. Then this uh, BP segment is going to be X uh, centimeter as well. So therefore, uh, this called uh, AB length is going to be X uh, plus X is going to give us uh, 2X. In other words, uh, our this uh, code AB length is going to be equal to 2 times uh, X. And now in this uh, next step, I'm going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point B. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this uh, bigger circle. So this is going to be our uppercase R radius. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle OPB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, uppercase R. Whereas our two other legs are uh, X uh, and uh, lowercase R. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, X square plus uh, lowercase r square equals to uppercase r square and now I'm going to move this lowercase r square on the other side so therefore we can write uppercase r square minus lowercase r square is going to be equal to x square and I'm going to label this one as our equation number two and here we are ended up with these uh, two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. And now we are going to compare these two equations. We can see that our left hand sides uh, are identical for both of these uh, equations. So therefore we can equate the right hand side uh, as well. So therefore we can write uh, this one as uh, our x square is going to be equal to 1. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. And here we can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore uh, our x value turns out to be positive 1 centimeter. And now let's recall we know that our uh, AB length uh, equals to 2 times x. And our x value is 1 centimeter. So therefore I'm going to substitute uh, x value 1 over here. So therefore we conclude that our this uh, AB length is going to be 2 times uh, 1 and that is going to be equal to 2 centimeter. So thus the called uh, AB length turns out to be 2 centimeter. In other words uh, this uh, AB length uh, equals to 2 centimeter and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.